Some COVID facts are undeniable. Minnesota lawmakers are making an attempt to bring to light the facts and fight the misinformation. John Croman has our story. The challenge with Delta variant is it causes you to be more sick and it's incredibly more contagious. Pediatrician Madeline Ganyan of Gillette Children's is warning of an epidemic of misinformation. If you've had COVID before, it's important, just like anyone else who has not gotten COVID, to be vaccinated. She appeared at a press conference with DFL lawmakers who called on her GOP colleagues and others to stop making statements that questioned the COVID vaccines or the dangers of the disease. To raise this issue and to call on our GOP colleagues across the state of Minnesota to end the spread of misinformation. Senator Aaron Murphy, a registered nurse, said that with children ready to return to school in the fall, we can't afford to gamble with the Delta variant. She took Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka to task for this remark from the special session. The science of kids under 12 being at risk from COVID it clearly says that they are not at risk. It is a very, very, very small percentage. Senator Gazelka is an insurance agent and I think he speaks in probabilities, but I am a registered nurse and I speak in terms of life and death. Nationally, some top Republican skeptics are starting to come around, including Steve Scalise, who finally got the vaccine over the weekend. It's safe and effective. Yeah. Uh, I took it and I, I wanted to show the picture to to just encourage people. And Fox's Sean Hannity followed suit. And it absolutely makes sense for many Americans to get vaccinated. I believe in science. I believe in the science of vaccination. Former Senator and medical doctor Scott Jensen, a candidate for governor, continues to press the theory that catching COVID gives you the same, if not better, protection than the vaccine. People who've had COVID-19 have recovered and developed antibodies. They're not being included along with the vaccinated in terms of herd immunity. Jensen also joined a national lawsuit aimed at preventing the federal government from offering the vaccine to kids ages 12 to 15. Get ready to pay more for your energy bills. Details next on Valley News Live at 6.